Hey guys, I'm gonna uh, today. I want to describe or go through using the loft command and using um, convert entities and offset entities to kind of create a, a base for a coffee maker and then build it up and go from there. So first of all, I want to change the back a little bit. This is going to be where the coffee pot sits, the carafe, and then I'm going to change this back up a little bit to kind of make it a little bit more interesting and bring this to here and then um, add a fillet a sketch fillet over here under this point, like a two inch sketch fillet here and to here as well and the problem is I need to trim this out a little bit first, I'm going to trim this and this and I'm going to add my fillet so this from this point here and this point here, there it is so this gives a little bit more of an interesting back to this, not just one arc but a couple arcs and these are in, these should be tangent here, here and here, and that's what it is so I'm going to leave it undefined a little bit just as, as I begin here, but I have some major dis distances set up, major dimensions. And I'll change this to like a um, 4 inches in the back, so it changes the back a little bit. Okay, I'm going to X my sketch. To make a loft, I need to have at least two sketches. So I'm going to go from the top sketch here, and the sketch is, this is where this first sketch is in the top plane. And I'm going to go to, in Features, Reference Geometry, Plane, create a new plane above it, okay? And this is how you adjust this. Usually this is at whatever size. Um, you can adjust the height of it. I want to have this be two inches above the top plane, above the base, the bottom of the coffee maker, so that the next sketch is here where the top of the base will be. I'll check mark that. I'm going to click on plane two here and go to sketch. And I'm going to grab the sketch from down below and bring it up to this sketch level and then scale it down a little bit. That's the plan. Okay. So I'm going to look straight onto this. I'm going to use the offset or convert entities first and select change turned on. I'm going to click all the pieces of this and it selects the whole thing for me. Check mark that and that should grab all that sketch and bring up to this next plane. Okay, so it's really copying it up. That's what I've just done. Next thing is to um, scale this. So I'm going to um, go to underneath the move entities, go to scale entities and again I'm going to choose this whole thing here and it sees all the parts. I'm going to do like a 90%. 0.9 is like 90%. 1.0 will be 100%. So about 90% of the original size. Scale about the origin. Brings it down a little bit. I'll check mark that. Okay, so now this thing is like this. It's above it. Now I can go ahead and loft it from this sketch to this sketch. Okay, so I'm going to use the loft, loft to the boss base command to go from this point here to this one. And have it loft up like that. Okay. Sometimes when these green dots are not in line, for example, if I drag this over to here, it won't even make the loft because it's not in line with the, with the lower sketch. So it has to be in line. The sketches need to be relatively similar. You could go from like a square to a circle, and it would loft that. I might twist it a little bit, but generally try to make the loft from a similar sketch to similar sketch. Check mark that. It creates that base like that. I'm going to click on this plane and make it to hide that right there. Okay, so I'm good to go for now. I'm going to start the next sketch um, on this surface. Click on the surface, choose sketch right there. Now I'm sketching on this. And I want to bring up this back edge here. So I'm going to go to Convert Entities, and I'm going to choose a series of edges here to come around. And this one, in Convert Entities, grabs whatever you select and copies it onto the current sketch. So I'm going to, I'm going to um, offset entities. And I'm going to go back here one second and close this and go back to the scheme because I don't want the chain to be selected. So I'm going to delete um, this one. I just want this edge from here around to here. I'm going to um, offset entities again. Click this. There it is. That's what I wanted. Um, I'm going to reverse this. Just goes like that. Cap ends is on. That means that the end is capped like that. If I turn that off, it's open. So I'm going to cap it with a line. Or an arc, I'll choose a line. Check mark that. And I'm going to just extrude this up um, from there. I think it's nine inches to the top of the coffee maker. And again, I've been measuring this a lot ahead of time. So there's the back. And I'm going to bring them, um, I'm going to use this edge down here and bring the top down from this surface. So I'm going to start a sketch on this surface here and use this outside and convert this edge entities from this edge here to here and around being careful to select the edges 
of that. And I'll check mark that. So now I have com that's converted to the top. All right. And I'm going to actually want to convert that down to like a um, just the outside edge, like a shell. So I'm going to offset this. That is going to reverse that so it comes in. Check mark that. So I'm going to extrude that down now. Fix my sketch. Extrude about space. Flip it over. Come down about 3.25. And then I have this piece that comes on like this. All right. So I kind of like that. That's the beginning of the coffee maker. Kind of an older, older style, but that's how you get it going. And um, we'll stop there for now. All right. Hope that helps. Have a good day, and we'll see you later. Bye.